Hello everyone and welcome back to the AI for Business series. First of all, we would like to say thank you for your comments in our previous video. We really appreciated that. Today, I would like to raise another question. Do you know that nowadays, almost every top company of our generation has become an AI first company? Google and Microsoft have deeply adapted the company's culture and skills acquisition to exploit and explore machine learning. This change takes them beyond being a software, mobile first or customer centric company. For consumers, products should end up smarter and more useful, especially by website improvement, applications and bots. They should see, hear, speak and understand users' needs through the so-called cognitive technologies. I'll give you two examples. Google Photos detects people, places and objects in images, making the organization of content much easier. And RankBrain determines the most relevant results to search engine queries. It has an interpretation model that considers not only the words in the query, but also the location of the searcher and his recent digital footprints to more reasonably guess his or her true intent with the search. Okay, but Google, Amazon, Microsoft are all top companies. So how is AI integrated in organizations from different industries and sectors that are not currently keen to abandon their vision? Capgemini has run a survey in nine major countries, interviewing more than 900 companies already implementing AI, to infer to which extent they are profiting from the technology. The majority has reported a significant improvement in their marketing funnel metrics. What I find interesting is that many organizations presented in the report are jumping to the most complex use cases, like authentication, supply chain design, and recruitment of top talent. Only a minority is implementing cases that are both easy and beneficial, the so-called low-hanging fruits like chatbots and virtual assistants, products and services recommendations, and the actual analysis of consumer behavior in terms of recency, frequency, and how much value are they adding to the business. A powerful example of how this low-complexity, high-return AI generate uplifts comes from Alibaba's achievements during the Singles Day last November. In the whole customer journey, they used the recommendation system, robots in the warehouses, and chatbots in the post-sale customer service. And what were the results? 812 million orders, with more than 90% of them being paid with a mobile phone, and $25 billion in sales. This is way more than the Black Friday and Cyber Monday in the US combined. It becomes clear that it's humanly impossible to generate all this business activity without the help of machine intelligence. Then, another question that pops up is, how do customers and employees react to the use of machine intelligence? Here's an interesting finding from retail. Walmart is using robots that perform repetitive tasks, such as identifying when items are out of stock, locating incorrect prices, and detecting wrong or missing labels. The company communicated its workers that robots were not there to replace them, but help on those boring boring and repetitive tasks. Employees loved the robots and even gave them personalized names. What about the shoppers? How did they react to the robots in the stores? The majority simply ignored them. So to finish, let me ask you, can you tell me what you think is the key component of an AI strategy? Is it computational power? Or maybe you think it's talent acquisition? I think these are all quite important, but the main thing is to have a data acquisition strategy. For example, every time you launch a new product, you should map how you will acquire information from your user, his touching points, what we call his digital footprints. It's the virtual circle that Andrew Ng stresses out in his AI talks. Data combined with AI improves products, which then attracts new users, which then, by definition, generates more data. So to wrap up, I believe that Alibaba's and Walmart exist examples, which can be classified as a human-in-the-loop approach, and the right data collection strategy, when combined, are able to help any kind of business to exploit the low-hanging fruits of AI implementation. So please let us know what you think about the AI-first way of doing business and about data acquisition strategies.